fishy friends! Welcome to another Fishy Friday here at Bart's Fishtails. Today we're going to make a dish which might be a lunch, a snack, a starter. It's a dish for so many occasions. We're going to make stuffed paprika with tuna, capers and olives. Ready to take off! Okay guys, I've preheated the oven 180 degrees Celsius. I'm going first to make the stuffing. Um, start with half a red onion. Cut a garlic clove. Chop it fine. Got a frying pan right here. I'm going to have it on medium heat. Add a splash of olive oil. Good splash. And then the shiitake. This lovely mushroom. Famous out of Japan, but available all over the world right now. Um, I cut it in small pieces. Okay, first step, onion. Into the pan. I add the garlic at the same time. Okay, so I simmer these, and now I add the shiitake mushroom, and I give it one, two, two more minutes. And meanwhile, I'll prep like three anchovies fillets. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to melt these into the pan. It will give, give a really rich, full flavor. And if you use these anchovies, it's important that you realize that they are salted. Anchovies, cut them roughly, get them in. And the anchovies will melt now. And again, this will give such a great flavor to the, to the stuffing. Okay, bring it to a bit higher heat, so medium to high heat. And if you feel it needs a, just a bit more oil because it's become too dry, I just give it an extra splash. Good. Then I add like this amount, I would, would I say like almost a tablespoon of capers for the acidity. And then I use like, well, almost a handful of olives, cut them in halves. Okay, now it's time for the seafood hero of today, which is canned tuna. I love canned tuna. Uh, you find it, well, all around the globe, but if you buy it, make sure it comes from a sustainable source. It's certified by the Marine Stewardship Council, and it's called by Paul and Line. One man, one pole, one line, one fish at a time. Good. Drain the tuna. We add these to the sauce. Maybe a bit of extra acidity, so that's why I've got a lemon right here. Just a few drips, guys. Like this, no more. Good. Parsley, I keep a bit of the, the parsley leaves over there as a garnish, but love also to have some parsley straight into the stuffing. Good. Bring this back to medium heat again. This one is ready. Now it's all about the paprika. So I've got two paprikas and I'm going to cut these in halves. Take out the seeds, because we will have these in the oven. I'm going to give them a brush with a bit of oil. You don't want to have them burned. Both sides, especially the outside is really important now because there might be some oil, of course, left in the, in the sauce, in the stuffing. Okay, here we are. So add the stuffing into the paprika house. I mean, they need to be rustic, but simultaneously just arrange them so the paprika is well covered. So now we have panko, which is Japanese breadcrumb. We have it just on top of it. Gives this nice and crispy layer to it. I'll top it off with a few drips, extra drops of olive oil. Good. Four paprikas ready to be in the oven. 20, 25 minutes. Um, but the red peppers are ready. Um, we serve them on a nice plate. Now we give it a bit of extra color, a bit of garnish. So maybe a few more parsley leaves. Chop it roughly. Over the dish, there we go. Maybe some lemon zest. Just a tiny bit of Norman sea salt, here we go. And a bit of olive oil. 
Here we go, guys. It's, uh, we can call it like roasted pepper, red pepper, stuffed with a delicious uh, mix of tuna and olives. Well, all kind of beautiful flavor. I think it's time for a taste. So a great tuna dish. Let's have a bite. Wow, it starts with that sweetness of the pepper and then suddenly, boom, that stuffing comes in with the tuna and, and um, the capers, the acidity of the capers, the crunchiness of the panko, and that earthy texture and, and flavor of that uh, shiitake. It's an amazing dish. Guys, you really should give this a try. If you have any comments, any questions, leave them down in the box belo uh, below and uh, subscribe. That would be lovely. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.